So let's look at trying to evaluate some logarithms. So let's look at a couple examples of, so I have the log of 16 with a base of two. So what's the evaluation there? What's the exponent that we're trying to ask? So maybe what's helpful for now is let's convert it over into exponential world, which says two to the what equals 16. From there, we might be able to have an understanding. Well, two to the what equals 16? That's two to the fourth. So in this particular case, that would equal a four. That's the exponent that makes this value. Log of seven, or log of 149th base seven. How do we think about that? Same type of way. Seven to the what makes a one over a 49. Remember our negative exponents? What would happen if this was a negative two? Seven to the negative two makes it one over seven squared which is one over 49. Log of five with a base 25. Let's rewrite that in exponential world. Again, we're looking for the exponent that makes this true. So that'd be 25 is my base to the what equals a five. 25 to the negative, uh, let's see what that would be, 25, half of that, 25 to the one half. So you can have a fractional exponent in there. Remember what 25 to the one half is? We can rewrite that as a root world. That's the same thing as the square root of 25. The square root of 25 is five. So 25 to the one half equals five. Kind of have to remember lots of different things that were discovered along the way. And I know it's kind of confusing when you lose track of some of them. Okay, so log of 5 root 2, base 2. How do we think about that? Likewise, that's 2 to the something equals 5 root 2. Well, that was a bad root 2, wasn't it? There we go. That was sav That was saved. And how would we write? I don't know what that means, but I know that this is in root world. Maybe it'll make more sense if I put that in exponential world. How do you write five root two in exponential world? That's two to the one fifth. So two to the what equals two to the one fifth? Well, that appears to be a one fifth. So log of five root two base two equals one fifth. Feeling all right? All right, it is going to take practice, but I know with a little bit of practice, a little bit of repetitive work on this, you will be able to go back and forth a little bit more fluently.